What's up guys, my name is Witty of course, and today we're going to talk about something that is very important but has a lot of information to go with it. We're going to talk about how you can best prepare for Season 1 of Diablo 4. Now, we do know that seasons are going to be very similar to how Diablo 3 functions, and because of that, I've played a ton of Diablo 3 seasons. I think I have a little bit of ground to stand on when talking about this. However, a lot of this information is assumptions and is very subject to change between now and mid-July when Season 1 drops. With that being said, there is a bunch of information we know to be true. For example, the Eternal Realm, which is where we currently are. It's the pre-season realm that is essentially persistent forever. It's very similar to the Standard League on PoE and non-seasonal characters, just like on Diablo 3. And then we have the Seasonal Realm, which I assume each will have a different name. However, that being said, they will be created every three months, starting in mid to late July, and going until essentially the end of Diablo 4, whenever that may be. This will entail creating a new character at level 1 and progressing through the game again, as you did on release. However, you will not have everything reset, and some things will carry over each season, including, but not limited to, the campaign progress, meaning you won't have to do the campaign again, your Altars of Lilith will all remain on your account, the map will be fully explored provided you fully explore it now. So these two things, Lilith Altars and your map exploration, will reward you with the renown once you start the new season, and you will have level 2 in every region unlocked immediately from the jump. If you don't already know, d4builds.gg has an interactive map that you can use in order to find all of your Altars of Lilith, and you can alternatively click on them individually to mark them as found. So definitely a useful tool, and I'll make sure to link it in the description so you guys can check it out. So how should we first prepare for Season 1 a month early nearly? Well, make sure you have the campaign done if you don't. That is by far number one. Unlock as many of your Authors of Lilith as possible, preferably all of them, and make sure you explore the entire map. If not, get 95% of it done, because all of these things will carry over to Season 1 as well as every other season in the future. Another thing that I haven't seen a lot of people mention is to make sure you have your mount. I know a lot of people are skipping the mount quest. It's accessible, I believe, in early Act 4, if not Act 5 during the campaign, you need to make sure you're using your mount because in seasons you will have your mount at level one and that will speed up the entire process tremendously. Now, some other things we know that will be in season one and possibly be updated before that. Nightmare Dungeons will have their experience reward increased prior to season one and or during season one, meaning that they will likely be the best experience method available once the season drops. To boot with this, sigils will create a portal that teleport you to the dungeons in Season 1. So this reduces the travel time and speeds up clearing the dungeons significantly, only reinforcing them being the better method of experience farming. This is something that Blizzard has wanted for Diablo since the release. They never intended for any of these regular dungeons to be better experience per hour, so we will see that by Season 1. One thing that I definitely want to touch on that I haven't seen anyone else talk about is to stop planning on league starting a character or season starting a character or ladder starting whatever they're calling it don't count on starting as a specific character because i'm going to be honest with you if this is anything like the past the balance changes are going to shake up the entire build system across all characters and you might be thinking druid looks extremely powerful which i'm using right now but because of that, Blizzard will probably balance Druid out a lot more and it will receive the most quote unquote nerfs when season one does drop. I would consider maybe playing a Necromancer or even a Sorceress because as of right now, despite the fact that they have some really powerful mid game builds and even an end game build or two, they are pretty confidently the weakest classes of the five. Now, this is also not considering that there's a possibility we see a new character release with season five or season one, sorry. And there was mention of some kind of holy type character, which shouts back to not only the Paladin in Diablo 2, but the Crusader in Diablo 3. So we could see something along those lines come into the game as well. So like I said, just just try not to commit to any one character because 
the character you're committed to might just become the weakest character in the game by the time the season drops. And you really don't want to get your hopes up and then not want to play the season because you were let down. With that being said, honestly, there's really not a whole lot else to do to prepare for Season 1. Unless you plan on calling off work or something like that, you can get that in order ahead of time, but that's essentially it. I know there's a lot of videos about preparing for Season 1, and most of them contain the same old things. I'm sure that this video has a couple of things, if not most things, that other people have mentioned, but just in case, everyone has different audiences, so I figured I'd let you guys know how I was preparing for Season 1 and how I would recommend you to. That being said, this will be the end of this video. Appreciate you for watching, of course. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully I was able to help you out in some way. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. We're about halfway to a thousand subs now, and I have you guys to thank for that. It's been a really great last couple of weeks, and I look forward to keeping up all the uh, videos and fun. I'm enjoying it a lot, and you guys make it worth doing, so. Doses.